In this product demonstration, we will go through the key components of Ansible Tower and its functionality, which is a considerable step up from using Ansible CLI that you may have used in the past with Ansible Core. We will discuss the autonomy of an automation job, which shares similar objects when using CLI, but has considerable differences, such as the use of job templates, better credential management, inventories that you may have come across before, and Ansible Tower projects. First, let us look at the lab environment that I've created for Ansible Tower before we deep dive into these components. I have my Ansible Tower environment hosted on AWS and I'm using a T2 large instance and for my security groups, I've allowed HTTP and HTTPS from the external world into my internal instance. So when I click on the public IP address assigned to this host, it will open up the Ansible Tower dashboard. On the dashboard, you will see I have a small demo environment. This consists of one inventory, one project, and one host. These Ansible Tower objects are created by default when you do a fresh Ansible Tower install. So as you can see on the dashboard on the left hand side, we have all the relevant sections that are used to configure Ansible Tower. On the resources, this is the section where you will be spending most of your time. And these sections form the basis of creating an automation job. As you can see, we have templates, credentials, projects, and sections relevant to the inventory. So projects are a collection of playbooks and inventories identify your managed assets. And then we have job templates that glue everything together to form an automation job. We still have playbooks containing your tasks and these playbooks are stored in what's known as a project. As a best practice, you should store these in a repository so they can be version controlled and better managed. Then we have the inventory and this object is used to list and manage hosts and manage assets that you want Ansible Tower to manage. Ansible Tower connects to these hosts and carries out the tasks that you've specified in your playbooks. Then we have the credential object, and this is a really powerful addition to Ansible Tower. And these are the credentials that are gonna be used to connect to the managed hosts. However, these credentials have many other use cases. Finally, we have the job templates, and this really is the glue that ties everything together. All of these components sync together to form what is known as an automation job. So when you look at a job template and jobs, they will always need to reference a project and inventory and credentials, otherwise they can't run. So before we start to create an automation job, let me quickly check my licensing settings, as this will detect what I can do with Ansible Tower. There are a number of ways you can add your trial license. You can browse for the license, or you can enter your Red Hat credentials that has the license attached. I applied for the license before, and I also have them attached to my credentials. So on the left hand side, you can see that my license is compliant, and I have up to 100 nodes to test with. One of the nodes is already taken, and this is the local host. So now that my license information is all sorted, let us start looking at our first automation job. Firstly, we will select the inventory, and here you can see we have a demo inventory. And this demo inventory comes with a fresh install of Ansible Tower. So I have not configured any host in the inventory yet. So when I click on host, you will just see that we have local host. And this local host is the Ansible Tower control host. Next, we go to credentials. And here you will see Ansible Galaxy and demo credentials. Let us go further into demo credentials. And here you can see we have different parameters that we can set, such as the name and organization. The most important component here is the credential type. And we have lots of different types of credentials that we can use to manage the different systems. For example, we have VMware vCenter, OpenStack. Then we have the default machine type on page three. 
We also have Google Compute Engine and AWS. Now we go to our projects and you know that projects are a collection of playbooks. And what I really like about the project component in Ansible Tower is that we can store them on, for example, GitHub, which is a source control management system. We simply point to the project to the correct source control management location via a link. Next for templates, and these really are the glue, and a template needs to reference all of the previous objects we discussed, along with additional performant objects such as enable fat caching or enabling web hooks. These configuration parameters that you see on the bottom right are actually optional and not needed to run a template. So for this template, we will run a job type of run and not check. We also need to link the job template to credentials, which we have a credential type of machine and the project, which is the demo project. So once you are happy with all of these settings, we can click on launch and here we're going to launch a job template. So on the left hand side, you will see a summary of all the job details. Here you'll see the reference inventory and the project called demo and also the job type of run. So on the right hand side, it should look pretty similar to that of the Ansible CLI that you may have used in the past. Now this is a really simple playbook and we're calling the debug module, which will simply print hello world to the screen. And this has been performed on the local host. In this product demonstration, we went through the key components of Ansible Tower and its functionality, which is a considerable step up from the Ansible CLI that you may have used with Ansible Core. We also discussed autonomy of an automation job, which shares similar objects when using a CLI, but has considerable differences, such as the use of job templates, better credential management, the inventory that you may have come across before, and Ansible Tower projects.